When they're not out marching, some protesters in Lebanon have been busy painting the town. Graffiti like this, calling for revolution in Beirut, has become a popular way for demonstrators to spread their message. A group of artists, and we decided to do the walls of uh, revolution. Because, uh, and I decided to paint uh, this face of a woman because women were on uh, the front line uh, and they were really uh, showing their strength in this, uh, in this movement. And uh, I, I made a crown uh, with, uh, made with people in unity so uh, that I can show that this is the time for people to rule. And uh, I wrote in Arabic, Al Hakim Sar la so uh, this is it, because this is the first time that I see in Lebanon that everyone is united for the same, uh, for the same thing and the same demand. On this wall, near the government palace, other artists have made caricatures of the country's politicians. This fictional WhatsApp conversation between prominent politicians pokes fun at what protesters say is rampant corruption. So when the spectators or the people, the demonstrators, saw the work, they were happy to see that I was representing the politicians by animals. And I was saying, no, it's not only the politicians, it's also us, because we need to be responsible. Otherwise, we cannot shift this revolt to a social revolution. Mawad wants to encourage protesters to reflect, but also to express their anger and frustration. Besides claiming walls with graffiti, protesters have also been reclaiming public spaces, like this building behind me. Known as The Egg, this 1960s cinema was abandoned during the Civil War over 30 years ago. But during the protests, people have been using it for lectures, political discussions and even parties late into the night. Activists have also been experimenting with other creative tactics. Here, a group of volunteers has been planting trees to reclaim Martyrs Square in central Beirut. So we're hoping to, to show people that there is an alternative to what the system is doing. So there is an alternative, and the alternative is that, uh, you know, you don't have to plant uh, exotic tree species. The alternative is that you don't have to be pushed out of your city center. You don't have to be pushed out of your own public space. And the alternative is to actually not wait for the system to change, but actually to instigate the system to change, to take back what is yours. Once the heart of the city, downtown Beirut has stood virtually empty for years. But demonstrators hope they've finally found a way to take back the streets. Imogen Kimber, TRT World, Beirut.